Hey everyone, welcome to Kelpa's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making arancini balls. Um, they are super yummy. They're rice balls with like different kinds of cheeses and you fry them with breadcrumbs and then you put sauce over them, your favorite sauce. Uh, we do have a special guest today. Uh, Mr. Keith Kelpas himself is gonna be guest starring on our show. So I'm really excited. I'm just getting everything ready right now. I'm um, getting my sauce ready. I'm doing like the, the meat and um, the sauce. I'm gonna get all that going. And then I'll uh, I'll show you step-by-step step how to make the arancini balls. And yeah, and then you can just pair it with your favorite sauce. So I will be back with you in a jiffy. Right now. Oh, okay. All right. Here's Keith Kelfis, everyone. What's up? Have you ever made arancini before? No, but I've eaten it and it's really good. Have you eaten the arancini I've made? Yeah, it's really good. You haven't made it in a while. It's been a long time. Okay, so this is what we do. We already got the rice. Um, we already have white rice. You can use whatever kind of rice you want. I prefer white rice. Um, so we got the rice cooked. We got the sauce cooking. I have water boiling for noodles just because I wanted pasta on the side for the arancini, but. Okay, so we have whipped egg. And so this is what you do here. Are you gonna help me, Mr. Keith? You're brewing coffee too, I see. I am brewing myself a cup of coffee. So while right. I'm making my coffee, I'm gonna put you to work. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna fry the arancini in this pan. But, so what you do is, you have to get them in balls. So I have to take my wedding ring off, everybody. Sometimes it's kind of controversial. You should probably take yours off too. Some people are like, hey, you're not wearing your wedding it's ring. Fine. I just don't want it to get all gross and dirty. No, take it off, I don't want it to get gross. It's like the brand new aura ring that he just got. Okay, set your rings aside so they don't get dirty. And then, okay, so, Everybody makes arancini different. I like to sprinkle a little bit of basil in the rice. So just whatever kind of basil. Just to give it like a little bit of a color. And then you can put like a little bit of pepper. And then maybe like a little tiny bit. I like Lowry season salt, but I mean, it's up to you. Just a little tiny bit, like a poop. Just like a little yeah, just like a little tiny, 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 tiny bit. Okay. And then for the sauce, I put hamburger seasoning um, from McCormick, Lowry season salt, the basil, pepper, and um, the McCormick garlic powder. So, and then I put a little bit of brown sugar in the sauce too, just to get, kind of take away the tart. So, mm, okay, sugar. so we got that. And now, so the key is to make it nice and sticky so it forms in a ball. What you do is you put a little bit of, oh geez. Because I ripped it to the point where it's like, you know, where it doesn't open. Okay, so you put, I mean, everybody's like, ooh, you should be measuring this stuff out fine. We'll do a half a cup of Parmesan cheese to start. Actually, no, we're just going to do a whole cup. We're going to make them nice and cheesy. Full cup. Nice and cheesy. Nice and cheesy. Full cup of uh, shredded Parmesan cheese. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so. And then you mix this all together. You mix the Parmesan cheese and the rice to make it nice and cheesy and honestly I feel like we could use just like a little bit more. I didn't fill the cup up all the way so I'm just gonna kinda tap it off a little bit. All right. And then you mix that all together. And then, this is the fun part. This is where I'm gonna need your help. My help? Yep. This is where I'm gonna need your help. Oh, and here's a disclaimer. I have a red mark on my forehead right here and right here because I was cooking the sauce too high and I opened the lid and it went all in my face and all over my clothes. So then that's when I decided to put on my Ashley apron that I designed. 
with the nice uh, mesh chest and then the choker and then it clips instead of ties. It clips instead of ties. I like but, that one. Yeah, this is my, my personal cool. apron. So I designed this one for myself. I picked out the material and everything. So AshleyAprons.com, hit me up, AshleyAprons at gmail.com if you want to customize or call me. Uh, all my information is on the website, AshleyAprons.com. So, Mr. Keith Kalfas, hmm. did you wash your hands? No. Wash your hands! Especially during all the poo poo doo doo that's been going on. Alright, I'm washing my hands. You're washing your hands? Washing. Um, and then we got fresh mozzarella cheese. Normally, like whenever I would make it before, I would make it with like a mozzarella cheese that was like, um, just like in like the cubed or whatever, mozzarella cheese. But this mozzarella cheese for some reason is like delicioso. So I wanted to. Oh, that stuff is good. Yeah. Yeah, it goes really good with like the fresh mozzarella cheese goes really good on salads. It goes really good for everything. So I figured I would try it for the for the arancini today. And then so we can just get this going out if I can get it open. God, I'm the worst at opening packages. I'm the worst at cutting things and opening it. things. Okay. Uh, so and then we'll just cut like this. And then we'll, we'll cut, you know, and then we'll cut the cubes to stuff, stuff the balls with. Okay. So what you got to do now, Keith, mm -hmm. is you got to take the rice and ball it up, make balls. So here. Big... Ah. The golf ball. Oh small. crap. The breadcrumbs. You got to get breadcrumbs out. Forgot the breadcrumbs. Now any breadcrumbs? I think we have over here. Yeah, I mean, it depends on how big you want the balls. I think that size ball is pretty good. Yeah, like a golf ball. Yeah, and you just get it nice and... Is that all the breadcrumbs we have? I think. We don't have... <laughs> we might not have enough breadcrumbs. <laughs> no. I thought we had a whole thing of breadcrumbs. Me too. Oh, keep going. Okay. okay. So Keith is going to go try to find some more breadcrumbs. Because I guess apparently I didn't think they, this through. Maybe downstairs. Uh, I mean, this might be enough, but I don't think so. I mean, I can crush up a bunch of crackers real quick. No, that's not the same. We need breadcrumbs. A little underprepared for Kelvin's kitchen? I mean, I know for a fact we don't have these upstairs. Well, shit, we're gonna have to get some. Well, I can go look. I'll go look. Okay. So, and then you take a piece of mozzarella cheese and you shove it in the middle of the ball and then kind of form the rice back over it. Just make sure. That it's nice and rounded. I mean, this rice need, might, might need a little bit more Parmesan cheese too because it's not sticking like I want it to. So if it's not going to stick how you want it to and stay together, Add a little bit more Parmesan cheese because the Parmesan cheese makes it sticky and makes it um, makes it stay together. Okay, and then here's the trick. So you dip it in the egg wash that you made or that you whipped up. Dip it in that and then roll it around in the breadcrumbs that we're running out of. And 
then now. So you put a little bit of oil in the pan. And then get the pan going. I would say cook them on medium. I'm gonna put a little bit more cheese in here. It's not as sticky as I want it to be. And then how about you're gonna be in charge of frying them and making sure they're fried. But you have to be super careful that they're not gonna fall apart, okay? Get some oil. Can you do that? Is that enough oil or should I put a little Probably bit more? Not. And then I'm just gonna do like a half a box of pasta. That's good. Cool. It smells like soap. Soap? Yeah. No. It smells like soap. Good thing I caught that. Want me to rinse it? Yeah. I did rinse it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, the first one's done, so you can throw it in there and then I'll work on the rest of them. The tongs that have like a grip to them. Those ones are good. Okay, here's the first ball. Let, them, let it cook. And then I'm gonna get, get to balling. I wonder how many arancini balls we can make. So I did six cups, or six servings of rice in here. So this is six servings. And then take the mozzarella cheese, shove it in the middle, and kind of squeeze it to where it sticks together. Squeeze the balls. <laughs> squeeze the balls. <laughs> I forgot what part you put the egg on. So you do this. And you get it nice and balled up like this to where it's not going to come apart. You throw it. And then you want to get it nice and squished together so it's like all stuck together so there's no coming apart. And then what you do is you carefully put it in the egg, roll it around. And then just roll it around in the breadcrumbs. Make sure it's all even. And then put it in the pan. Like show. So easy. It's like, it's easy, it's messy, but it's easy. Like, arancini is a very easy dish. Because all you really have to do is have breadcrumbs, egg, salt and pepper, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, sauce, and then, you know, you're good to go. You just, it's just the, I think it's, it's the, I think it's the, this is what's overwhelming to people. But in, at the end of the day, like, these are such good, like this is such a good appetizer, especially if you're having like company over, if it's like a small intimate party. Because I remember I made, I think I made a hundred balls for my sister's baby shower and I was making balls from sun up to sundown. Like it took all day long, but like if you're just, you know, making matzo or these balls for like an intimate setting, it's really not that bad. Do you flip them? Yeah, I well, yeah, I cook them. So what I well, so okay, so now that they're in the pan, make sure that they're cooking on one side and you brown them on each side. So you make sure they're nice and brown. 
I'm actually making, these are actually pretty big fucking balls. Huge. But if you make them any smaller, they'll fall apart. That's why I'm scared. Like usually if you go to an Italian restaurant, they usually make the balls about this size. But a lot of Italian restaurants, they put like sausage in their, in their sauce. And I'm not a big sauce, sausage fan and, and spaghetti sauce for some reason. I like beef in the sauce, but, and honestly, you can totally make it like a, like, um, vegetarian style without the meat in the sauce. Cause these are, these could totally be vegetarian. Um, these could totally be vegetarian if you wanted them to be. And I really like this these breadcrumbs because, okay, yeah, they're Italian breadcrumbs. I like the breadcrumbs because they're nice and light. Where's the strainer? Hmm? Oh, there that down Well, the strainer's up here. But yeah, so all you need is rice, Parmesan cheese, mix it up. A little bit of seasonings, your favorite seasonings. And then you shove some fresh mozzarella right in the middle. Oh, did you do that to those ones? Yeah. I missed it. All of them have the mozzarella right in the middle. You shove it in the middle and then you kind of form the ball again over it. And if you have to put a little bit of rice on top of it. Oh, can. so it's rice and cheese balls with chunks of mozzarella in the middle and you eat it and it's melted pretty much with sauce on top kind of sauce oh uh, just regular pasta sauce with meat mm. yeah i'm excited yeah so we're gonna get these fried up and then we will show you the finished product He did such a good job frying these up and like granted when you do arancini balls sometimes they might fall apart like some of them might but not all so we did um six we did so i would just say add more parmesan cheese to make it stickier you know and make sure you put the parmesan cheese in when the rice is super hot um so six servings of rice makes 12 arancini balls Mm, good to know. Six servings of rice makes 12 arancini balls. We have 12 right here. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> um, so I will just pick these up. This is a nice ball you got there. How many balls do you want, honey? Because we're going to eat pretty these. hungry. I'm starving. Probably three or four. Three or four? Not three. There's a pretty big. Okay. I'm going to give you one of the ones that fall Cool. No, I'm not. No, nope. because we want it to look good in the, in the picture that we're going to take. <laughs> so three or four? Here. I gave you four, babe. Four. Okay. Four. Okay. Four arancini balls. What, what do I get to do? Um, oh, grab some Parmesan cheese out. The shredded kind, not the other kind. Do you want a little bit of pasta noodles? Oh yeah, and I like lots of sauce. So when I do pasta noodles, I like to put, I like to put the pasta sauce in with the noodles and then I like to mix it all around. That doesn't stick or something. No, I just like to have like uh, saucy noodles, you know? Like, see, I like to mix the sauce all around with the noodles. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. You want some? Oh, yeah. I like lots of sauce. Well, then I'll put another scoop in there. 
Like, yeah. Thanks for starring on Helpless Kitchen. I think I want to make some bread and butter with garlic. Yeah, on. you can do bread and butter. Pretty good. All right. Hey, you know what I was thinking? What? My dad, it's one of those dads that turns everything into a sandwich. He's like, you got any bread? And then he makes it. Mix. And they're like, you're ruining. He would make an arancini sandwich, wouldn't he? Yeah. How much pasta do you want? A little bit more? That's plenty. That's a little, that's good? I don't even want four of those things. Too bad. It's already on the plate. I'll right. take more sauce though. Yeah. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll put sauce on the noodles. And then we'll put sauce all over the arancini. Uh, oh, it looks so good. Wow. Amazing. My mouth's watering. A little bit more. That's plenty. Okay. And then we'll sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan, maybe a little bit of mozzarella. Ooh, do we have shredded mozzarella? Oh, yeah, maybe. Bam! Who does that? <laughs> I just had this funny memory. Of when I was a kid, I worked at a pizza place. Uh -huh. And I stole a bag of cheese. Oh my god! Mozzarella cheese. I'm not even the type of person to steal. You should go give them a bag of mozzarella cheese back wherever you worked. Uh, oh, 15. You know what I stole? When I was like four years old, I stole a thing of Tic Tacs, orange Tic Tacs, and we were marching out of the store, and my mom didn't know, and I said, mm, my Tic Tacs, and my mom goes, did you steal those? And I was like, well, I just took them, and she's like, we had to go back in the store, and she made us march back in the store and pay for them, and she, she embarrassed me in front of everybody and said said that she's sorry that her child stole. and But I never stole again because I learned my lesson from that moment. You know what I mean? But as a kid, two years old, I didn't kind of process like what was right and wrong. I just kind of took it. Mm. But the deep, 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 deep down inside, I knew even then as a kid that I was wrong. Oh. But All right, so here you go. Here is the finished product. Are you so excited to eat this? It looks delicious. Oh my gosh. Mwah. Love you. Here Thank you, go. you. You're welcome. I knew it. Okay. Yeah. It's delicious. It's like something that you get like in a high class Italian restaurant. It's, it's it, my taste buds are exploding. Oh yeah? Let me try the noodles. Good. It's incredible. Good job. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Mmm. Ah. Oh, so good.